Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today I'm going to give you your uh, general hospital spoilers for the week of October 12th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. If you want, try the membership out. You get early access to videos like the general hospital spoilers. The members uh, tomorrow will get the spoilers for the week of the 19th. So, where everybody's just getting the spoilers for the week of the 12th, if you were a member, you would get the spoilers a week in advance um, for General Hospital, and you would be seeing what's going to happen on the 19th. So that's an example. And I would like to thank my current membership, Megan Maloney, Michael Pryor, uh, Yvonne Todd, Jeff Payton, Cassie DeGrenia, Patricia Bell, Brian McConaughey, Phyllis Pearson, Ellie May, David Cherry, Shannon Clark, David Meadows, Deb Bell, Christy Power, Ramona Newson, Odessa Davis, Samantha Greenrich, and Paula Black. Thank you all for being members. And now we're going to talk about Journal Hospital. Okay, so we have Monday, October the 12th. Ava struggles. Elizabeth is torn. Gladys continues to argue for Brando. Ned learns the truth. Brick delivers an ominous warning. On uh, Tuesday, October 13th, Anna makes a decision. Maxie makes a bold move. Julian is desperate for an update. Nina offers to help uh, Sasha. I'm sorry, Nina offers to help, and then Sasha disappoints Lucy. Wednesday, October 14th, Brooklyn is put on the spot. Matt calls out Robert on his trepidation. Sasha feels helpless. Curtis picks up TJ for dinner, and Portia rips into Jordan. On Thursday, October 15th, Sonny considers his future. Maxie gives Spinelli an ultimatum. Brando is grateful. Brooklyn tears into Valentine, and Olivia grows annoyed with Ned. And finally, on Friday, October 16th, Jason and Sonny strategize. Ava reassures Julian. Nick seeks out Alexis for help. Dev manipulates Cameron. And Monica plan goes horribly wrong. So that is the spoilers for the week of October the 12th. Um, if you don't mind, I want to talk a little bit about what happened um, this week. We got Dante back. I really wish that he had showed up before the funeral was over with. I wanted to get all of the reactions of, oh, Dante, out the way. <laughs> so that didn't happen. He was only with Sonny. He told Sonny, don't tell nobody. Um, I really uh, want to see what Ava does when it comes to Ryan ultimatum to get a divorce to save Julian and also to see him weekly to save Julian. I wonder how she's going to wriggle out of that because I know Ava's not going to give up all that money <laughs> just for... Uh, Julian, she's obviously always going to try to think of an alternate plan. There was a interview with uh, Cynthia Wojtros on Soap Opera Digest on the podcast. It's a long interview, but she also mentioned um, some future facts about Nell. She said that Nell's a daughter, and that she's about to find out soon. We don't know when, but soon. Um, that Nell is her daughter and that Jackson Carly uh, covered up how she supposedly died. And even Cynthia said, well, she's dead for now. <laughs> you know. And um, they said that there's going to be another side of Nina. And I'm guessing the only side that, you know, we haven't really seen because she's been so nice lately is the mean, ruthless, evil Nina back. Because that's how she came to the show. You know, she came being, um, trying to get revenge. And I think that's exactly where she's going to be at again. And it was interesting with Cynthia's interview because she said that until she broke up with Valentine, her character broke up with Valentine, she didn't really feel like Nina was hers. It was still Michelle Stafford's. And she was in her shadow. But once she broke up with Valentine, that was like the reset button where it's now the Cynthia Waitrose version of Nina. And um, I would love for her to see how that graduates to a Nina that's uh, ready to fight and, and battle and 
find out these things about her daughter and how she's going to handle Carly from now on once that comes out. And clearly, I would love her to dump Jax. I would love for her to go back to Valentine or even somebody new. So um, that was the Cynthia Waitrose interview. She talked a lot about she went to college with Maura West. Her days had gotten right in the TV show Lost. So um, if you want to see that interview or hear that interview because it's a podcast, you can go to Soap Opera Digest and listen to the whole thing yourself. And um, I think I'm going to end it here. Because that was a um, that was a good interview with Cynthia. It was just long, and um, those are the spoilers. I can't wait to see what happens. Um, General Hospital has been doing a really good job lately with the storytelling, except for um, uh, I'm about to say Kelly, except for Sam and Jason. I mean, they don't do anything to Sam and Jason. There's been no progress in storylines or even a storyline of their own. So um, I will see you in the next video.